LCF and if I keep looking at the camera and looking at the screen differently then please don't hate me. So today we're going to be doing a day in the life studying at LCF but during COVID. So I'm not actually going into uni. Um, also if you don't know what LCF is then London College of Fashion is what it means. Before we get into lessons I think we need to get a fresh cup of coffee because we're definitely going to need this. because what would a video be without it slash I don't think I've ever done this in my life um for a good few years anyway so this is like a acid wash green top and then jeans I just like tucked it like that kind of like you know but maybe not fashion student doesn't know how to dress interesting um I just did my makeup and I showed you guys a little bit of it also my makeup looks really bad my eyeliner today is shocking um this lighting is a bit funny, isn't it? And then I'm wearing an Aries necklace, these earrings. Yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup because we're not actually going anywhere. Well, we might go out to the shop, we might go for a walk, but I personally feel in lockdown, even if I'm not going anywhere due to the situation, um, put, putting on makeup makes me feel a lot better. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so let's get into it. I personally have been obsessed with skincare recently and I used to always skip past the skincare parts and like favourites videos on YouTube and stuff. Girl, I cannot get enough of it. I was up till like 3 o'clock in the morning watching Hiram's videos. I've been looking at Rio Vieira Newton's like skincare list stuff and I cannot get enough of it so i've done my skincare routine but that is something else that's going to be coming later on because i want to try out some more products and try to get a feel of what's good i'm just wiping the mirror because it's like dusty as well. okay still kind of dirty but well i'll wipe on this side too because that's where the window is but yeah been obsessed with skincare but now we're going to do makeup so this l'oreal foundation it's too dark for me, so no hate. We're gonna try, I have moisturized and everything. So. Always remember to blend. Oh my God, that's really hard to. Like my favorite eyeshadow recently that I bought and I'm gonna finish off my makeup, but I'm just gonna have a coffee break. Perfect temperature. Did I just get makeup on my mug? I did. Sorry, little dear. It's my little Norway mug that Jordan accidentally put in the dishwasher and kind of ruined it, so I'm really sad. But we got this one we went to Norway and he proposed to me, so Ooh. So next, I'm going to be doing eyeliner. I can never do eyeliner on camera, guys. So, I use a L'Oreal Perfect Slim Super Liner. Have been for years. Like, all these are like my og kind of products so yeah okay so for mascara i use the body shop one and then i have this eye of horace one that's run out pretty much but the brush on it is like super super defined can you guys see so what i do is because the body shop one can get a bit clumpy looking i go through with this and then show you guys before and after it just like separates the lashes more and it lifts them because the brush is better on this one but like the brush is better on the body shop one because it applies better and then i just go through with this one why i don't go to london anymore okay so one covid happened i went home to wales where my family live uh, for like four months and then i stayed with my fiance for a few months with his family and then we decided to get a place in liverpool because one it's my last year and I wanted to get a place and not be in halls and then two i'm gonna try and knock all the mess in i wanted to save money and if anyone knows then they know that london property is mega expensive so that is why well it's really shaky isn't it 
I'm gonna try it again here. Why I don't live in London anymore because while it's my final year and I wanted to save money and put it towards different things like business stuff and not be wasting it on rent, we have more space here. We're also closer to home, so if anything was to happen to one of us with COVID, then we'd feel a little bit more, not that you can see family and stuff, but you're not as far away. Um, and yeah, so I'm having to do my course online. We were allowed in for a little while and then they stopped it. And I always knew this, like, I said to my friends in email, I was like, guys, this is not gonna be a short term thing. Like, I know you're all thinking of like paying to stay in London, but I honestly wouldn't see the point at the moment because you can't do anything in London, you can't go to uni, nothing. So, I'm here doing my uni course. I'm in my final year. I've got a few months left and doing my dissertation and an independent project that I haven't actually started yet. We do have a lesson on it today. I haven't actually checked my time. So for the people in my group who are watching this, then they're probably gonna hate me because they probably have missed it. But I think a lot of us are also more focused on a dissertation. So let's get into it. Okay, so this is currently in my life at the moment. I have everything on it from uni work to the Luna stuff to the website, the whole shebang. So, oh yeah, how gorgeous is this, this laptop? It's like the grey one, I'm obsessed. Uh, it's really mega dirty inside. So <laughs> I'm the kind of person that gets a really dirty screen really easily. Okay, so let's get into it. This is actually quite often where I sit. I just like sit on the couch. I do try and sit at the table, but a lot of the time I end up on the couch. And am I proud of it? No, but oh well. So start off with we have to go into Moodle. And let me tell you this. No one knows how the fuck to use Moodle, guys. Like, I thought I was the only one. I know people that don't know how to use it as well, so thank God for that. And they tried doing an update on it, and I think it actually made it worse. So, I love when teachers are like, oh, you can find everything on Moodle. I'm like, I don't even know how to, like, find my way around Moodle. Never mind find anything on Moodle. Mindset, because you're in dissertation mode. Um, but we will try and keep it light. Um, bit of an intro, and then you can kind of... Um, yeah, pick it up when you want to, but it's important that you're here, so thank you for showing up. Um, this is a kind of session overview for today, so we're going to have a media department reintroduction um, with Steph, who um, works at the media department. Okay, so a lot of people gave them shit for this because we can't actually go into uni, we can't use any of the resources, and we just had this woman be like, oh, um, so you can you so this is how you use the media resources, but then we're not allowed to go in and use them. So everyone was fuming over that. This is a recording, by the way. Just to show you around the new LCF technical resources website. Yeah, so the, they were talking about the website as well. But also, um, our class is very like, I feel like we're quite like close like to our tutors and stuff and everyone's just gonna open. If we have a problem, people definitely address it. Um, and I think that's important, especially now. But also we were like, oh, what's everyone doing? And like people, like one of the girls in our class, she was doing her skincare routine. And honestly, I have been known to do like my eyebrows on class. I don't know why, like I always do soap brows. I did a few months ago. It was like a thing I'd be like, okay, class, I'm gonna play with my brows. Um, Cause no one can see you. So then we were just talking about skincare. So that's why they were like, oh, we were doing skincare routines. Um, so we love that. Um we're then going to jump into the unit briefing, so taking you through all the information in the unit handbook to make it more digestible and answer any questions. Then we have um, CDFF graduates who graduated last year who are joining us. So we've got Kessia, who is um, currently community manager at Protein, Tessa, who um, was the recipient of the startup visa from UAL, and also Kiko, who is kindly joining us from Toronto. Um, so there's a bit of time difference so so basically through this lesson they go through the media department re reintroduction unit briefing and Q&A CDF graduates presentation so that's where people from final year last year come on and talk about their presentations and how they did it everything like that and that's always really nice to get other students thoughts on it and like see how they did their work so we have an actual idea because it's a lot harder when you're not going in um, a mission and edit, I don't even know what that is, some kind of workshop. I don't think I actually attended that. Yeah, paper and pens, I definitely didn't do that. Um, so yeah, so basically, our class is like really good. 
and our tutor's amazing. And honestly, like, I have full respect for them because it's so hard for them, I can imagine. And there's been times when they've been on lessons and it looks like it's been really stressful for them. And they've been like, oh, I've got to go, like, I've got another call. Um, so, honestly, respect to, like, Carrie and everyone because they have obviously been having a really hard time with teaching people especially from home like people have like babies at home and they'll be like crying mid thing i've had like i've seen videos of my friends like take photos and videos like wow so much respect for our tutor like this guy is like teaching us but he's also like cradling his baby it's crying and like it must be really hard for like tutors like that who have to stay at home whilst their wives or whatever go to work and or like nurses or something so yes <laughs> see how that one goes but um they've all got very different projects and they'll be talking you so i'll give you a glimpse into what people's in i'll give you a glimpse into like what the powerpoints look like we also do this thing um where our tutor will put this up and anyone can have access to just comment whatever they feel so you don't know who it is it's like how are you feeling people say they feel shit trapped all that um but yeah this image really captures kind of the independent project basically so it can be difficult to tell the difference between things falling apart and things falling together i think there will be i'm not gonna show like my tutor on camera because i don't think that's fair but carrie you're gorge so you shouldn't be ashamed but i'm not gonna put you on like she's done it so we love it she's such a queen she's a queen i hope she watches this no don't watch this i'm scared um, we definitely had people kicking off the other day about like uni and like how people have been ripped off for their money and everything like i totally understand that and it's really interesting to listen to your girl I'm just taking a quick lunch break and I've just made myself some noodles and I'm also watching Rio, Rio Vieira Newton. She's like a skincare specialist, she writes for The Strategist, is that how you say it? Strategist? Strategist? Yeah. And um, I'm obsessed with it recently, like as I said I'm really into skincare also, obviously not doing a great job because that's not cute. Oh we have like a bit of scarring here. Anyway, I'm like really into her videos and stuff and like her skin is amazing so i'm currently watching her on youtube like those videos again and again and again as i eat food that probably isn't doing any good for my skin but hey so i'm gonna go for a walk because it's always good to get out and get some fresh air and this is my look of the day sorry about the mess behind me um but yeah so jeans that look really baggy on me right now they're like jegging so i think they're just losing their form um and then one of George's jumpers I was gonna put my Luluna hoodie on but I wear it constantly and it's actually got just crap on so not actual crap but yeah so this is my little look of the day for going on my walk that is really not that exciting but also anything to get out at the moment and check for parcels because we're expecting some post um but yeah so yeah this jacket is i will stop playing with my hair one day this jacket is so fluffy and warm and it's only two degrees out so it's the best jacket for that. also because it is so cold i put a beanie on this is my favorite beanie ever i love it to pieces and it does match with my bag so we've got matching brown boots with jacket and then orange orange um i feel like we need a pop of blue now i'm not gonna lie but what could we do I mean, I'm wearing like earrings with a bit of blue on, but a little blue eye. Okay, so what I usually like to do when I'm doing online uni is going on a walk because it helps so much to just get out. But 